one of the clear skills that is needed for the future is thinking in a futuristic way. And so what follows here, I want you just to look and think without commentary and see what do you as a youth development professional think about these topics and what do you think is going to be important for the young people that you are working with. I think this will stimulate our thinking because it's only a sampling of the multitude of things that could be brought into view. I am the 99%. Oh, that's a recent trend. What does this mean? Mm. I see fossil fuels. Oh my, water, a global issue, drinking water, a serious issue. Now I am puzzled by this sign, think globally and eat locally, or am I puzzled? Is global warming a reality? And if it is, then what is going to be the action needed from young people? Can you believe that the seventh billionth person was born in India? What will the world look like with seven billion people? What are the challenges facing youth Facing our children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren with a population of that magnitude. A theme? Will this become a lifestyle with more than the ones that it is already? And Web 1. Oh, how well do I remember. And here we are escalating into web two, three, who knows what will be next. A person who has written about this kind of thinking and has been very intriguing to me is Jennifer James and I found that she has done an update on her book and it is thinking in the future tense and that is the skill that I think we as youth development professionals, as people who care about what happens to children and youth, have to adopt this mannerism. Because her quote in there is so powerful that all the changes that are occurring to us are of such magnitude that we ourselves are being transformed. So my question to you is, what are the implications for you as a youth development professional as you think in a futuristic way? And what will you be doing to impact and make sure that the young people that you are influencing and the organizations that you are influencing will understand and be proactive in these kinds of areas?